Many people ask me, how do I know that my conversation I had with my loved one across the veil or my guides was real? Well, that's pretty easy. You ask them to play the sign game with you. You ask for a sign in the coming days that will validate the experience you just had with them. Here's an example of how this works. I once had a conversation with my guide and I said, if I can really trust that was you in the coming days, I'd like to see a silver medallion. That's just what popped into my mind. But what really happens here is whoever it was you were conversing with, whether it was a guide or a loved one, puts in your mind what you ask for, only it feels just like your own thoughts. How I know this is real is because it happens over and over. You'll think of something that you have no reason for thinking of, but see, your guides and those in the higher realms have that higher perspective. They know what's coming up for you. In this particular case, this really happened. The next day after having this conversation with my guide, I was flying somewhere to some event across the country and I was on Delta Airlines. I never read those magazines in the seat back, but for some reason, I felt compelled to pull the magazine out and I just started leafing through it and laughed out loud when I looked down and saw fly with us often enough and you'll reach silver medallion status. Now see, that guide is the one who knew I was gonna fly and who obviously nudged me to read that magazine. <laughs> Why else would I pull it out when I never do that? So this shows the ongoing communication we have with those in the higher realms. Well, the other night in one of my monthly mentoring webinars, I received a question, an answer to a question that comes up from so many people. Why don't I get my sign when I ask for it? Well, clearly sometimes the conversation can't be validated. Maybe it was your imagination or maybe you're not supposed to get your sign. But in other cases, there are some people that just don't seem to get the signs. I never understood why, because I get my signs that I ask for very frequently, at least 90% of the time. You'll see here in this clip that I'm going to share from the monthly mentoring webinar, how the answer came through on the spot from my guides and even left me in awe. The answer makes perfect sense, and I hope it's helpful to you. Watch this clip. Those of you, oh, wow. Okay, I just got an answer to a question that I didn't know. Why some of you are not getting your signs? You're not following the nudges that will lead you to the signs. Wow. So the signs don't always just drop down at our feet. Wow. Coming to see signs is a gift that results from being aware, working in connection with your guides continuously and being guided moment by moment. So what they just showed me, we're all learning this together, is the reason I see signs so much is I am constantly asking spirit, what do I do next? What's the best next step? I have this big to-do list. What do I do next? What book should I read this evening? I don't just think about it. I ask for guidance. So moment by moment, I'm guided. Are you? Are you living this way? Are you getting your signs? If you're not, then you're in a very human box and that's very normal. There's nothing wrong with you, but the path you're on now is learning to live lucidly, learning to live the awakened way is what I call it. So there's the key. Moment by moment, don't go looking for your signs. Learn to be tuning into what to be doing moment by moment and the signs will drop into your awareness. Ah, it's so obvious, but see, I've gotten in the habit of living that way over the past few years, but I didn't always, and I didn't see signs. So stop looking for the signs and start walking hand in hand with your guides every moment. Do you wake up in the morning and immediately brush your teeth? 
even there you can stop the moment you get out of bed just tune in and kind of say what do I do right now and maybe today instead you'll wash your face first and you'll see something in the steam on the mirror I don't I'm just going by the seat of my pants here as I share this with you now but you can see how how it is to live moment by moment being guided and then with that connection the God winks will show up I love that let's see one more little God wink about noticing things uh, on that flight to Salt Lake City I was enjoying music uh, from my iPhone and I was enjoying music by a group called Cantoma I play their music at some of my events sometimes it's very uplifting a nice high vibe and there was only one song from a specific album and I thought oh that's so good I'm going to get the whole album so as soon as we landed and we were able to turn our phones back on I went to iTunes I matched the little icon of the album from that one song and I bought the whole album as I downloaded it I'm standing in the aisle of the plane we're just getting off and I started laughing are you ready for this the title of the album was just landed <laughs> so this is the perfect example of what we were just talking about what do I do right now in this few moments while we're waiting for everybody in front of me to get off I'm nudged by that album now your thoughts are not all your own I can hear my guide right now saying this is going to be good we just told her buy that album now instead of reading your email because the timing is perfect you're not a separate being if you start working in concert with higher beings life will become much more magical wow I hope that was helpful to you I hope you'll start playing the sign game more often but more importantly I hope you will engage in conscious connection with those across the veil I have a bracelet on today and it says moment by moment just a reminder that we're not only human and that we have helpers who are ready to help you just have to ask and acknowledge they are right here